Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today I'm going to give you my monthly flying stars update for the month of the Earth Monkey, which starts on August 7th and goes all the way to September 6th. Now, for those of you who are not so familiar with uh, feng shui and flying stars um, and maybe a little bit confused about what I'm talking about, uh, all you need to do is to just stand more or less in the center of your flat and hold out a compass. And the compass will tell you where's the south, the north, the east, the west. And these are then the sectors that I'm talking about, that I'm referring to, and that you can use uh, this month. There are a few really, really, really good ones. And then there's those that you probably shouldn't touch or maybe stay away from a little bit. All right. Now, um, the Earth Monkey Month that we are moving into on August 7th is actually quite a special month uh, for two reasons. Number one, it is what we call the year breaker because we are in the year of the tiger and the monkey clashes with the tiger. So overall, it's probably going to be a month that may be a little bit upsetting, um, even more so if you have the tiger in your chart or the monkey in your chart. So um, then um, this may be a little bit of a tricky month for you, but don't worry, yeah, we can still make the best of it. And the second reason for why this month is actually so special is because, as you can see in the chart, each box contains two numbers. And this month, they are all the same. Yeah, so this is what we call a Fu Yin um, Flying Stars chart, where the energies of the particular sectors are amplified. So the annual flying stars are exactly the same as the monthly flying stars, which makes them even stronger. Yeah, and the fact that they are all in their original palaces, which is the meaning of Fu Yin, uh, makes this an even stronger chart. So basically what it means for, for those of you who are not practitioners, um, all the energies that I'm talking about, um, the, the, the positive and the negative energies that I'm going to be talking about in this video, are going to be much, much stronger than in any other month, which means obviously that make use of the good energies that are coming our way in, in August. Um, try to stay away from the negative one as much as possible, but the positive ones are really, really good. So try to capture as much of those energies as you can. And we start with the most uh prosperous one which is the south sector in the south sector we have uh the number nine twice in fact we've got it three times because the south itself is associated with the nine so this is a super strong uh sector and has the probably the best energies of the entire month it's really really good for anything to do with financial um activities there are really good chances if you want to climb the career ladder or just make some bold financial moves. Um, also, if you want to improve your connections with people or just have a more positive mindset. Yeah, if you have been a little bit depressed or not feeling so great about yourself, your future, your career, maybe spend as much time as you can in the South, because not only is the number nine associated with celebration and happiness, it also gives you a positive vision for the future. And this is exactly what we need. Yeah, we're halfway through the year. Maybe you've lost a little bit of steam. So this is exactly what, what you may need. And again, anything that you do in this sector uh, during the month of August, all the way until September 6th, is infused with positive energies, especially as it pertains to career and wealth. Yeah, so please make use of it. The really, really good sector. Now, the other good sector that is great for financials is the Northeast sector. And this is especially good if you uh, are in the property and real estate business. So, um, if you want to do a property investment or have anything or sell your property, purchase a property or anything to do with property and real estate, really, whether it's landed proper uh, land, just land or a built up 
um, built up property on a land already, then uh, use the Northeast for that. It's it's an excellent it's an excellent sector. It's also a great sector if you are uh, working from home and you have a side gig uh, aside from your regular job. Maybe you have a allocate a few hours per day to a side gig that you're doing from home. Um, then this will guarantee additional or added cash flow. So this is definitely something you can use. It will bring in um, a lot of wealth opportunity, but it's it requires a lot of hard work. Yeah, so more work will come in, but obviously with that work, more money will come in. So Northeast is also a very, very good sector. Now, the next one we really like here is the North. The North sector is great. Um, if you need to connect with people, with people who could help you, who could mentor you, who could give you any sort of advice, or if you are in a profession where you constantly need to reach out to people, maybe you need to cold call, the North sector is probably the best sector to do that from because it helps you establish positive connections. Um, it's also great for academics. So anything to do with research, with study, with academic endeavors. Um, if you're preparing for an exam, for example, you can use the North sector to do that because it will automatically give you the energy that you need to um, cram in those last minute um, studies and preparations. Then we've got the Northwest, a very positive sector for career purposes. Um, there are opportunities for promotions and advance in your career. Yeah, chances to climb higher on the career ladder and to get more responsibility at work. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you get more money. Sometimes it's just added responsibility. But in time, probably once you climb the career ladder, there will also be more money. But let's say if you're working on getting a promotion or if you um, if you need to make a phone call or, or anything to do with getting a job, then do it from the Northwest. Yeah, this is your best chance to do that. Um, if you are sitting for an interview, for example, and it's remotely yeah, over the phone, then try to locate yourself in the Northwest sector. If you're looking for a job online, then, you know, do it from the Northwest sector. If you write your CV, or if you send out applications, do it in the Northwest. And just generally anything that has to do with a promotion or with a job. Yeah. And then lastly, we've got the Southeast sector. Southeast sector is very positive for two purposes. So the first one is, again, to has to do with academics. So if for whatever reason, you cannot use the North sector for studying. Uh, you can definitely use the Southeast. It gives... Um, it gives you an added boost when you need to concentrate on something. Yeah. So this is very good if you need to prepare for exam or just for homework as well. Yeah. So if you're if your kids have trouble studying and concentrating, then at least for the month of August, put them either in the north or in the southeast. It will be easier for them to focus, to concentrate and to absorb new knowledge. But then obviously this is also the peach blossom sector of the month. Yeah. The star number four, whether it's the annual star or the monthly star, is usually associated with peach blossom luck, which means romance luck. So this is um, this is a very, very good sector. If you want to grow relationships, if you want to look for someone, if this is your bedroom and you're single, excellent. Yeah, go out more, try to connect with the opposite sex and see what happens explore the talent pool if your master bedroom is there and you're a couple then you can look forward to a really really nice harmonious month this will be very very nice um but just generally it's it's a good relationship sector even if it's not your bedroom maybe it's your living room and you spend a lot of time there um then uh, work on relationships while you're there maybe make phone calls to you know, arrange a date or or arrange a social event or something like that in the Southeast. This will definitely help. All right. Now, these are the five positive sectors that you can use this month. So this is really excellent. They don't have any side effects or anything like that or any negative ones. So make use of them. And now the three sectors that are slightly negative, uh, depending on what you do in them, 
are the Southwest, the West, and the East. Let's start with the West sector here. Now, the West sector, um, you know, there it's it's not necessarily the most negative sector. Um, it just makes you a little bit more argumentative if you are there. You also need to um, be a little bit more careful with injuries um, or, and with fire. So I would say don't light any candles in the West sector this month because there's a higher risk of, of fire. And try to stay away from sharp metal objects. Uh, if you spend a lot of time in the West sector, yeah, there's a chance that you may injure yourself. It doesn't have to be a, a, a bad injury. Yeah, maybe you cut yourself with a knife or a scissor or whatever, but it's just, you know, be careful. Um, if you spend a lot of time in the West sector, if you work in the West, you need to be extra vigilant and extra careful not to fall victim to a scam. Um, so make sure you don't fall for things that sound too good to be true because they're most likely too good to be true and just be a little bit careful yeah um and also make sure that you always know where you where your personal belongings are because if you if you go out there's a higher chance of maybe losing your wallet or your purse or whatever it's just losing important things so be a little bit more careful so out of the three sectors that are not so great this month, this is probably the most benign one. Now, the East sector, the East sector is the argument sector of the month. So there is a high chance of verbal disagreements and and even, that could amount even to legal issues. So I would say if you need to sign a contract this month, don't do it in the East sector because you are likely going to overlook a detail that will then later on cause some legal issues, legal disagreements. And obviously we want to avoid that. If your master bedroom is in the East, um, don't try uh, or try to try to avoid arguments because they will just escalate. Yeah, just kind of stay quiet and, and just keep in mind that it's just for a month. Yeah, next month things will get better. Um, make sure that you don't argue over trivial matters and really only pick fights that are worth the fight. So sometimes you may just have to zip it. Yeah, be a little bit careful with that because this particular sector can create a lot of upset and you may say things that you don't mean. And then lastly, we've got the Southwest sector. The Southwest sector is the illness sector of the month. So if you are pregnant, if you have a chronic illness, um, or if you are an elderly or frail person, or if you have one elderly and frail person in the household, or if you have an infant in the household. So those four types of people should probably not spend too much time in the Southwest sector in, in August. Now, if you don't have any option, if this is maybe your bedroom and you fall into one of those categories, then all is not lost. Yeah, you don't need to be too scared. Uh, just don't don't move any furniture around. Remove water features from the Southwest prior to August 7th. Make sure that you don't do any hammering, any drilling, or any, any activities that are very, very noisy or upsetting in the Southwest sector, and then you should be fine, yeah? And again, it's just for one month, so don't worry too much. All right. So these are the flying stars for the month of the Earth Monkey, August 7th to September 6th. Make the most of those positive sectors. They're really, really good this month. And I hope that they are really benefiting all of you. So if you have any questions, please uh, don't be shy. Get in touch, post a comment or get in touch with me via my email address. It's in the notes to the video. And uh, please like comment, share, and do whatever it takes to get the word out. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.